Hi there. Um, welcome to another final update. Um, I'm going to start off by uh, basically saying, oh, there you are. Uh, thank you all for subscribing and all 907 at the moment who did that. So that's pretty cool. Um, I, because of the Corona thing, I'm not going to do a contest as of yet, but when it all is gone, when there is a um, cure or a vaccine or something, or close to a vaccine, I'll probably do something. But for now, I, uh, I don't really want to risk the uh, possibility that packages will be lost in the mail. And I got to think of a price. So I got me some records. Um, yeah, these were all from one thrift store uh, with the exception one seven inch because I got two seven inches. Start with those. First up, this is Rod. Shake it up. Do the boogaloo. Rod, um, I don't know his last name, but Rod is a French singer. From African heritage. His name is Roche. Nyangandumu, Nyangandumu. Um, this is the Dutch pressing. Um, I got my phone different. It's on Kilroy Records, and uh, this is actually a fun little disco, funky disco track uh, from France. Uh. And there we got the Kilroy guy as well. Second seven inch I got is Shakatak. Can't go wrong with Shakatak. This is Nightbirds. Um, 1982. Backside or the B side is Rio Knights. And this is on Poly Polydor. Then the vinyl. Um, start off with a record that I picked up for my son. It was the last one I missed out uh, on vinyl. And uh, it's one of the collections that I try to complete in thrift stores. That was the silence there. I was waiting for my son to come up. He didn't. Um, there's three sort of collections that I want to com complete vinyl wise. One I just did, which was the easiest one. Then there's another, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> another one, which is a little bit, <coughs> a little bit harder. And I forgot which one that was. So it's weird. And the last one is probably impossible, but I do hope to manage and complete that but i got one of the three finished and that is the kids series kinder for kinder or kids for kids volume 11. there's 12 of these and i had 11 already and i was missing the number 11. i had one to ten and number 12 so this is the missing one probably not that special because the last couple of records from those first 12 mm, not so good everything else after this one uh, after number 12 was cd only comes with the lyric inserts inner sleeve it's kids music but it was just something i i was hoping to complete just for my son because he really likes this uh project so that's Kinder for Kinder. Then um, this compilation, Only Zo, Volume 2. I was fooled, I was tricked. On the back, there's 
curtain compilations that feature naked ladies. Um, that one's that series is called Soul Sensations. And there's five of those, but in the only Soul series of this really obscure private bootleg press thing. It must be bootleg. Because, uh, call me crazy, but there's no info on here as to what label it is. It just says, distributed by Soul Records, New York. That's it. That's all the info I got. Uh, anyway, but I was fooled, because this is not only Soul. It's got a couple of good Soul tracks. But it starts off with Nazareth. That's not Soul. Then it's got Bloodstone and Snowy White with Birds of Paradise. But then again, it's got the T-Connection, it's got the Gap Band, it's got Bobby Womack. So there's Soul on here, obviously, but it's, it's weird. Then, uh, let's do this one. Sweet Salvation. Self-titled debut album on Electra. This is the U.S. pressing. Um, a mixed race, soul, funk, gospel, blues kind of group. It's, it's all those genres thrown into a melting pot. Uh, it's got this original Electra in a sleeve. It's got the butterfly label. Uh, 1972. It's It's okay. I've heard better. I've heard worse. Um, so yeah, it's a little gospely and it's bluesy and it's soul and funk. Uh, but yeah, sweet salvation. It's no, uh, not a bad album. Then uh, let's do this one. Love Unlimited Orchestra. This is a later album by them. This is called Let Them Dance. This is another US pressing. This one is on Unlimited Gold Records. Produced by Barry White. It features Barry White. It's basically Barry White, but instrumental. Uh, mostly instrumental. Um, 1981. 1981. And those ladies. Are not part of the Love Unlimited Orchestra. They're just ladies in white gowns. It's a good album. I really, really like this. I like Barry White. I like Love Unlimited. I like Love Unlimited Orchestra. They're all um, in the same good main. Not heard this one, but I just had to pick it up. Um, this is Smokey Robinson with Love Smokey. This is from 1990. So it's a pretty late album. It's on Motown. Probably very smooth. I, I, I don't know. Looks smooth. But it's a 90s album on Motown. And it's Smokey Robinson who did a lot of really good stuff. And we continue. This is Ashford and Simpson with Street Opera. 1982. And this is a good, good album. It's funky. It's got, got a great sound. It's original inner sleeve. It's on Capitol. And Ashford and Simpson, I've not heard anything bad by them. Um, you got... Four tracks on side A and one giant ass track in, uh, what is it, five parts on side B. Uh, that is street opera. And it goes from soulful to funky to just, again, soulful. Um, just like side A. So yeah, Ashford and Simpson. What more can I say? The next two were pretty, um, they were more expensive. John Lee Hooker with Drifting Through the Blues. This is a Dutch pressing on a label called Soul Sound. Hey, well, that's the logo. 
It's from whatever year. I have no clue. I don't even know what the original title of this was because I cannot find this on Discogs yet. Have to look. Have to Google. But um, it's John Lee Uckert's blues, and I'm starting to understand the blues. I'm not really love the blues yet, but I understand it. The last one, I think I have to censor myself here or just quickly show it because it's not naked ladies. It's not. It's got naked dude on here. I might just cover the little part that's obscene. There we are. This is the debut album by Dumar, a Dutch group. Beep, beep. Um, yeah, I have to move it differently. Let's see how I'm supposed to do this. Because you got to see the other members as well. Those are the members down there. And this guy, beep, beep, he did the cover art. Ah, there, we got eyes. Uh, Self-titled debut album from 1970-something. 79. Again, on Kilroy, just like the Rod 7s that I just shown. Um, it's... Definitely not their best. Uh, it, it, it's sort of a mix of pop and uh, ska music, reggae music, uh, Caribbean music as well, this one. Uh, they had a different singer. They became huge with their second album, which is a lot better. It's a lot better. Their, their second, their third, and their fourth album are really good. Their fifth album is meh. Um, but you know, the stuff when they were popular, they were they were amazing, I think. Uh, but I'm, uh, I just had to pick this up. This is a record I've been seeing and kind of wanting all my life. Yeah. Beep, beep. And uh, I'm touching someone's wiener. That's weird. Uh, uh, yeah, I, I kind of wanted to hear it and wanted to have it. So there you go. This is my update. Beep, beep. And uh, hope you enjoy it. Gotta clean that finger. Thank you for watching. Later. Bye bye.